epic boss fight. Epic boss fight with the with the fire department back online and the with the, <coughs> the fire department back online and the routing information is with carriers. You know that Gada's planning to attack the headquarters of Mary Bank. Crack the security system and track Gada down to security cameras. Use the cameras. Use the force, Luke. Oh wait, I can't see anything. Yeah, there we go. Damn it! I'm in. We're on to him. Hey, what's up? I connected to the cameras. I just spotted Gada coming to the building with a big ass bag. <laughs> He's gotta have at least 20 pounds of thermite in there. This is like he's got to split it into 20 not suspicious packages. Chances are, he's got strategic pages. He's going to deliver them. Maybe high profile companies. The department is maybe he'll just flammable areas. Hell, if you want, you could probably melt right through the elevator cable or the steel door. I'm going to try to keep an eye on him with the cameras and use the security communication system to report the packages as suspicious as soon as he drops one, each one of them off. We don't want him to tip him. We don't want to tip him off or he might do something crazy. I've got a different job for you though. I've had a hunch to check the security. The status log on the security systems to get from the fire suppression system it looks like he cracked into the servers and he puts a virus he, and he put a fire system in front of those packages of one of those packages of incinerators goes off in a burnt unchecked. No water, no foam, not even some guy blowing on it really hard. Get into the fire suppression system and get it worked again. I bet we've almost got him beat. Boss fight, boss fight. Failure. Okay, anyways. Damn it! Wait. Oh, maybe not. Yeah! There we go. He's on the run. Hey, what's up? We finally got a run. We've got a runner! The security folks found the first package and got all dropped off and they sounded a, an evacuation order. From the chatter of the radios, it looks like Gadol has a timer set on each of the packages. With the rent cop with the rent cops stopped the one the one they found was a bomb. Well, I guess they're not too far off. Anyway, that means that Gato knows they're onto him. I've been following him on the cameras. He's still got half of his package. He's back into a maintenance area and off limits during the evacuations. He's headed to the service elevator that heads right for the parking garage. Yeah, garage. Ah, garage. I haven't seen that word like written down in a long time. That's attached to the building. From what I can see, the security. We're not going to be able to check the areas until he's way, until it's way too late. So we got to stop him, or he's gonna get away. Security system has a connection to the elevator running the computer. You can crack into the side of the elevator between the floors. That way, he'll be sucked until the cops get there. Ah, uh -huh. holy crap! So there's holy crap. This is this is complicated with just an elevator. I'm serious. I mean, what kind of elevators do these guys have? Ridiculous. Failure. I'll take it back. That wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? 
Guess you've been watching news. I heard that you let you know about the things that turned the trap got on last night. The news said the folks got alright. A couple of the packages went up to four with five kicker, but no one was hurt too bad. Apparently, one of them was burned a hole through the floor of some lawyer's company lobby, and another actually took out from a full web service. No big glasses, though. Good news for us. It seems Gunnar sent off a little manifesto to the papers just before his escapades. I think about how we Americans are all evil and stuff. Anyways, he specifically dis Lee Yole, saying he was a traitor to Loka and how Lee was just a tool that Gunnar used to strike at the U.S. Gov at the U.S. It looks like the U.S. government is believing it, too. They said that they're looking for Lee and grant him asylum. Charlie and I should be able to work out a way to turn him out with the without them suspecting us. As for Gador himself, well, it seems that he didn't want to be caught by the feds and say to try to cut his way out of the elevator using the thermite, and it didn't work. The whole elevator was full of sands and nothing left in them but bo charred bones. Hardcore. I almost feel bad for him. Anyway, this whole thing goes to show you you totally shouldn't listen to the suggestions I make, except one. Try those persimmon pastries. Really, they're awesome. Talk to you later. Congratulations. Story more complete. Um. Nah. Oh, actually, F you. Please excuse my language. Ha! Actually, this one's pretty good. I approve. Failure. <laughs> I am not going to go through these challenges. I just thought I'd show you the storyline. This game is pretty unique. I mean, there's not that many um, hacking simulators out there. I mean, there are pretty intense hacking simulators. Like, you have to learn. You have to know HTML on that. But it's pretty legit. I like this game. Um, I recommend you guys playing it. Um, give it a try. I mean, you can't see my mouse, so you can't necessarily see what I'm doing. I mean, you know how to crack it, kind of, sort of. But, yeah. There's also a puzzle editor. Uh, and there are puzzles to play and stuff, too, which is pretty entertaining. But, yeah. Um, um, until next video, guys. Good night. This has been, um, Let's Play Exploit. Good night.